For preschoolers and kindergartners, abstract thinking is difficult, if not downright impossible. And this includes math. So how can those little ones understand math concepts? Concrete, real life experiences are the most meaningful and important techniques. Jessica Solai explains how one local preschool is planting the seeds of math knowledge. For a parent, you probably think math is five plus five, but for your child, math is something more tangible, like helping you prepare and cook dinner. Children learn math every day and in everything that they do. Um, math's everywhere and it's a natural and integral part of their learning. Marcy Davidson is a child development instructor and program coordinator at Reedley City College. She also runs the lab school, which serves students and children. Actually, children learn about sequencing and numerical understanding from a very young age. And so rote learning, just like the ABCs, doesn't really help us learn to read. We learn to memorize letters. Learning math sequence, um, one, two, three, four, five, what comes after what, doesn't really help us understand math. Children develop their math skills through classifying, sorting, and using patterns. Their play helps them grasp what numbers really do. To really understand math, it has to be hands-on. So children have to touch it and feel it and think it and live it every day for a long period of time before it becomes part of who they are. The Reedley City College Lab School serves children six weeks to six years old with an infant, toddler, and preschool class. Children are able to grasp different math skills depending on their age. Because of this, the preschool class has the children choose which activity they'd like to do and use it however they'd like to. Because it's a mixed age group, you might have a three-year-old that's going to use a math manipulative, a puzzle, or um, a, a patterning uh, manipulative differently than a five-year-old might use it. Actually, math concepts formulate. might be the okay. geo board. The geo board has a pattern okay. from one to ten with pieces that connect together so that the child can build, count, and understand the pattern. So if there's three uh, pieces, they'll fit it with the three and they'll be able to only fit three into that area. So that's helping them actually touch the item that they're learning about, see the number, correspond to that number, um, as well as being hands-on. So it's not just somebody telling them that that's a three or them having to count to three. They're actually getting to touch what three is and understand it. Understanding math is not only the number itself, but what that number represents. Play-Doh is a simple hands-on activity that can be used to help children classify and sort. Having children sit there with a popsicle stick or a plastic knife and cutting it in half and rolling it and how many pieces can you make out of something, that's learning math concepts as well. Davidson says parents are already teaching their children math concepts at home with sorting laundry, planting a garden, getting dressed and celebrating birthdays. A lot of times we don't realize in our everyday conversation how much we do use math with children. Um, but even going to the grocery store, how many oranges are we going to buy today? Let's put three oranges in our bag and actually having the child help contribute to putting the orange in the bag and counting them as you're going. Real math is having the understanding of mathematical numbers and sequencing. And this starts early. Um, it becomes part of their everyday life. They see it at home. They see it on a clock. They see it on the telephone. They see it on the dashboard of their parents' car. Um, so numbers and sequencing and numerical understanding starts at a very young age and continues through their life. Thanks, Jessica. For more information about Reedley City College and the Child Development Center, call 638-3641. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids.